Okay, welcome to Fourth Valley TV again. We're join, joined again by Graham Young, head coach at Stirling County. Uh, Graham, another hard match, uh, this time against Stair. Can you give us your thoughts on the match? Yeah, um, I think you probably summed it up perfectly. A really hard game for us. Um, a match contrasting fortunes. Really happy with the first 15 minutes. Um, we were up 17-13. Um, we'd weathered the initial storm from them. Yeah. Um, where they'd gone up 10-0, which we'd expected, being at Millbrae. Um, and having a record of 1-3 that they come out firing because full of confidence. Um, we weathered that, weathered it well, um, spent a lot of time defending, got to the 50th minute and, and the game turned for us at that point unfortunately. Right, okay. Uh, so at that point, was that the point where we went down to 14 men? Did yeah. that have a major impact on the it, match? It, it did, it absolutely did and it, it was interesting. Um, the last three weekends we've been unfortunate in that we've had yellow cards, which isn't ideal, um, but the prior two weekends we've managed it really well and we've either come out 0-0 um, score-wise and one of them we've actually come up 7-0. Um, this weekend not the case, it told on us um, and I think the difference was having spent a significant period of time defending in the first part of the first half, um, it just turned up the intensity um, another notch and it put us back onto the back foot defending again um, and that exploited us in terms of being numbers down. Um, so we had to commit a lot of guys close to the ruck for big runners, they were able to get go forward, move the ball really quickly into space, us being a man down they were able to score two really quick tries. And after that, it was very, very, very hard for the guys to get back in the game. Um, you know, it, it really turned the game on that point um, mm. for us, um, which is unfortunate. Um, and it was a card not because of any individual error. It was a team card based on too many penalties, and, and it was a fair call. We had absolutely no problem with it at all. And um, we spent a lot of time this week working on the root cause of the issue, which isn't the card, but the actual penalties before that around the ruck and the breakdown, and making sure the players are comfortable with the rules and regulations. Um, and when they should be releasing, rolling away, and when they should should be playing the ball in the ruck. So it's been an interesting week for us. A lot of lessons, um, but a good week, I think, for the guys. And we were, we were disappointed not to come away with anything from the air game, um, but I think a really good lesson. And, you know, they're not top of the league for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a home match this weekend, uh, Aberdeen Grammar. Mm -hmm. Um, have you made any major changes uh, player-wise? We've got a couple of changes, a um, couple forced by injury. Um, so Brian Archibald, who's a veteran 12, goal kicker, uh, tweaked his hamstring against the air. Um, so Brian will be resting this weekend. Uh, we'll bring Danny from the centre into 12. And one of our pros, Byron McGugan from Glasgow, will be slotting in at centre. Um, so that's great for us from a player perspective. Um, equally, we'll be giving Stevie Gillies his first game at starting scrum half which is great for Stevie, uh, was with our under-18 um, team last year. Um, a player is highly thought of, um, one of the guys has been identified for moving up further in the ranks, so great for him to get that opportunity to, yeah. to play at home. Outside of that, Colin Hutton, who came on at prop in the second half at loose head, is normally a tight, will be starting at loose head, he's doing really well there, which is great, and we've got a couple of new faces on the bench. Sean McDonald, Scotland under-18, is taking a place in the bench, which is ideal, and Ewan Jura as well too.